वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हम लोग आज सेट्स के थर्ड वीडियो पे आ रहे हैं और यू गाइस हैव सीन के हाउ डू वी रिप्रेजेंट द सेट्स हम लोगों ने कल पहली वीडियो में बात की डिस्क्रिप्टिव मेथड की फिर लिस्टिंग मेथड की बात की हम लोगों ने फिर सेट सेट बिल्डर नोटेशन था फिर अब हम वेन डायग्राम पे हैं और अब देखेंगे कि ये हमारे सामने एक वर्ड प्रॉब्लम है एंड यू विल सी दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज द वेन डायग्राम टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ना दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम द जून 2009 पेपर वन और उसका ये क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 है ना द क्वेश्चन सेज अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्सटी चिल्ड्रेन अटेंड एन आफ्टर स्कूल क्लाब ऑफ दीज थर्टी फाइव चिल्ड्रेन um they play football and 29 play hockey okay so th these are the numbers that we have to uh, take care of okay uh, three do not play either of the games uh, we have to find the number of players who play only hockey as i think you must be able to write all these uh, this information uh, given in in set notation okay so dekhiye sabse pehle how will i be writing this in set notation so this is basically this is the number of the universal set that is there are 60 people in all jinki baat hone ja rahi hai uh, now out of these 60 people in mein se jo log football khelte hain i'm just going to write this as f दे आर थर्टी फाइव ओके और जो लोग हॉकी खेल रहे हैं मैं इसको लिख रहा हूं एन ऑफ एज दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन अब वो कह रहे हैं थ्री डू नॉट प्ले इधर ऑफ द गेम्स तो दैट मीन्स के ना वो फुटबॉल खेल रहे हैं ना वो हॉकी खेल रहे हैं सो दैट इज बेसिकली एफ यूनियन एज होल कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो इट इज एन ऑफ एफ यूनियन एज होल कॉम्प्लीमेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री ठीक है अच्छा नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू ड्रॉ इट्स वेन डायग्राम ठीक है आप पहले ड्रॉ कर लें बेशक वीडियो को पॉज करके ड्रॉ कर लीजिएगा और फिर आप देखिएगा कि क्या आप किसके साथ मैच हो रही है कि नहीं अच्छा नाउ वेन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इट्स वेन डायग्राम तो यू हैव टू सी दैट कि आप uh if you add these two numbers 35 plus 29 that is 64 this is already going beyond that 60 that means ke aur fir beech mein ye wala 3 bhi add kar lo so this is going to be 67 so that means these two sets they have to be overlapping for example if you don't believe this like uh, now just tell me can i have a uh, venn diagram like this where i keep this um, football separate like there are 35 people in it and then i keep hockey here just make it 29 log and then i put this three uh, out of this because tino teen log kuch bhi nahi khel rahe so when you add this up the sum of the numbers inside this rectangle which is representing this universal set that should not be anything other than this given number okay so you see that this is 64 uh, plus 3 this is 67 so that means um we have to have the overlapping sets over here okay so its venn diagram would basically be drawn like this you will keep this uh football overlapping with the hockey okay this is football this is ओके नाउ देयर आर मेनी स्मार्ट पीपल जो के इसको इसके बगैर मेंटली भी फाइंड करें इतना कोई मुश्किल नहीं है एनीहाउ अब हमें नहीं पता कि कितने लोग हैं जो दोनों गेम खेल रहे हैं तो फिर हम लोग क्या करेंगे यहां पे x सपोज कर लेंगे ओके सो नाउ फुटबॉल नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली इस पूरी अगर आप इसको देखें तो इसमें आपके पास यहां पे 1 2 3 चार रीजंस हैं इंशाल्लाह अगली नेक्स्ट वीडियो के अंदर आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट द शेडिंग इन द सेट्स तो उसमें भी आपको ये चीज थोड़ी सी और जरा क्लियर हो जाएगी now this this set over here this this shows only football ab yahan pe ye jo 35 hai that is the uh, the number of students who okay, football khel rahe hain to isme this football region has been divided into two parts ye this region is basically overlapping with the hockey to yahan pe jo log hoenge they are playing both football and hockey okay to uh, now this section jahan pe mera bhi marker hai now this is showing the region which is uh, about only the football people okay so this has to be 35 minus x okay and you see that if you add these two together the sum will be 35 now similarly this number for the only hockey that has to be 29 minus x okay now all these regions they are labeled this this is the number for only football this is the number for only hockey this is for both football and hockey and this is for neither of the two sports okay now guys if you add all these numbers the sum should be equal to 60 and that is how we will be finding this x okay so i'll be writing 35 minus x this one plus x 
then plus 29 minus x and then plus 3 that is equal to 60 okay so this is the sum of all these numbers over here okay so this x is cancelled by this x so i have 35 plus 29 is 64 plus 3 is 67 so i have 67 minus x equal to 60 if you did, if you do a bit of algebra here you will get x equal to 7. now x is the number of people who are playing both the games okay so we uh, had to find the number of uh, people uh, number of students number of children who are only playing hockey so that is 29 minus x so that is 29 minus 7 that is 22 like for example if this was a three mark question and if you just finish your solution over here you will be losing one mark because the examiner wants you to uh, give the number of the students uh, who are just playing hockey. So at the end you have to show it as 29 minus 7 Which is going to be the answer is uh, uh, the number of students who are playing only hockey That is 29 minus 7 that is 22. So that is the final answer Okay, but so uh, next question, this is taken from November 2011, paper 1 ka question number 10. Now, this is the test examiner test that you have to set notation. Ke mein kitna pata hai, okay, so uh, he's saying that there is this universal set shown, set B is shown. Hai. So we have to add the sets A and C into it. And he has given some information. Hai hai. He says A union B is B. Okay, if you recall, Kalwali, jo, Kalwali Karen, se previous video, just we have a subset of the subset. If you have any idea, then you will see it. So, what do you do? For example, here is a set, th these are two sets over here. Okay, now this is the set B and this is the set A over here. So, you can see that if you have a union, karoge, to that would be the bada bada set B. And if you have an intersection, dekhoge, to wo kya that will be the set uh, that we have. A hoega, okay. Let me do some correction over here. Uh, I have A intersection B is not equal to B. So, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So, that means that this information tells us that B, uh, sorry, A is a subset of B. और उसने साथ बता दिया है कि A intersection B is not B लाइक ये दोनों आपस में इक्वल नहीं है ठीक है ना तो फिर दैट मींस कि हमारा सबसे पहली जो चीज मैं यहां पे लिखूंगा आई विल बी एडिंग द सेट A इनसाइड इट बिकॉज़ दिस दिस टेल्स मी दैट दिस A इज अ सबसेट ऑफ B ओके ये चीज आपके पास यूं भी लिखी हुई आ जा आ सकती थी कि A intersection B दैट इज इक्वल टू A अब दीस टू मींस द सेम के आपका जो छोटा सेट है वो इंटरसेक्शन होता है बड़ा सेट यूनियन होता है ठीक है ना ओके okay, आगे बढ़ते हैं आप ये ये, ये दोनों चीजें हम लोगों ने यूज कर ली हैं अब वो कह रहे हैं ए इंटरसेक्शन सी इज 5 सो so, इसका मतलब ये है कि ए और सी का कोई सीन नहीं है आपस में दे आर नॉट ओवरलैपिंग ओके लेकिन उसने कहा कि बी इंटरसेक्शन सी जो है दैट इज नॉट 5 ओके okay? इसका मतलब है जो सेट सी हमने यहां पे ऐड करना है इट इज ओवरलैपिंग with the set B, but it is not overlapping with the set A. So, then you will make it the side of the C. So, that is how uh, you insert the, the, the two sets A and C into this given diagram using this given information. Okay, guys, we have taken this question from June 2002, paper 1, question number 9. I'll tell you that why did I choose this question. Let me first do its first part. Uh, it says there are 50 people on a tour. One day, 26 people went on the morning cruise. Let me write this M for the morning cruise and uh, 29 to the evening barbecue. So, let me keep this as E for the evening barbecue using Venn diagram or the Y's answer the following question okay now we have to see that this total number is 50 and 29 people are going on the cruise and there are sorry 26 people are going for the cruise and 29 on the barbecue it says it was thought that four people went to both events so both events ka matlab here that we have to write four over here we have, this is confirmed that uh, the four has to be written in the common area okay now it says that 26 people went on the morning Cruise. So uh, the sum of uh, both of these two subsets should be 26. So I have to write here 22 because 4 was already there in this circle. So 4 plus 22 that is going to be 26. Now it says 29 to the uh, evening barbecue. So that means I have to write 25 over here. Okay. So so that the sum of the evening barbecue num uh, set 
becomes um, 29. Now it says, um, it was thought that four people went to both the events and one person to neither. So I write one this outside. Now it says, explain why this was not possible. Now if you find the sum of all these numbers, which is going to be 22 plus 4 plus 25 plus 1. Now is that equal to 50? You have to ask yourself or you have to show it's working. So you see that this is uh, 26 plus 26 that is 52. So 52 is not equal to 50. That is why this information is not correct. This, this is not possible that four people are going on both events and one is going into the neither and us, we still have 26 people for the morning cruise and 29 for the evening barbecue. Okay, now I'm coming to the B part. Now this is the part which is uh, unfortunately uh, it is not covered in the schools. Okay, so I have to tell you this this where you have to find the least or the greatest numbers of whatever uh, M intersection E, M union E, A union B, A union B whole complement. In case of upset, uh, what are the greatest or the least values? So uh, Okay, I'll give I will be giving you two different situations. This can be the So this is find the least number and the greatest number of people who could have gone to both the events. I'm uh, just be taking I'm uh, just gonna erase this A part, okay? And um, now uh, since you will find the least and the greatest values. So you will be considering the uh, extreme cases where uh, we shall uh, find out the number just ke andar ke maximum number ho sakta hai dono events pe jaane ka aur minimum number ho sakta hai uh, jo log dono events pe nahi ja rahe theek hai na okay so before i proceed mujhe thoda sa dekhna hai ki yaar can i draw these two sets um, away from each other disjoint so i'll have to add up these two numbers 26 plus 29 that is 55. So that means in, in no way I can draw them away from each other. Okay. So, uh, I mean, when we know that we can't draw them away from each other, then we have to see the two extreme cases. If I have to go far away from each other, then I will have to keep five in common over here. Why do we see it again? Because 29 plus 26 is 55. This is five beyond more than this 50. So that means five dono mein common hai. So here you will put um, yaha pe you will have 21 and yaha pe you will have 24. Okay? Or bahe aapke paas a jayega zero. Ab dusra case jo hota hai, uh, where you have to see ke chai yaar ye kitna maximum close kitna a sakte hai. Is mein hap hamesha pe kya karte hai? We keep the smaller set, the subset of the bigger set. Hap ke chai yaar ye jo 26 log morning cruise pe gaya hai, ye sab ke sab evening barbecue pe bhi gaya hai. To iske saath aapki दूसरी वेन डायग्राम यहाँ पे आ जाएगी यहाँ पे आप इसको यू विल कीप दिस इवनिंग बारबेक्यू बिकॉज़ का नंबर ज़्यादा है एस द मदर सेट एंड दिस वन इस द सब सेट व्हिच इज़ गोइंग टू बी द मॉर्निंग क्रूज पीपल आई विल बी राइटिंग 26 हेयर ओके और यहाँ पे तीन लोग ये आ जाएंगे इवनिंग के 29 पूरे हो गए so, bahir aap paas kitne aage 21. Now, these are two extreme cases, okay? Aapne yaha pe inko maximum away kiya hai, yaha pe aapne inko maximum close kiya hai, okay? Achha, iske saath mein ek case khud se bana raha hun taake phir aap loog jo hai, wo bhi dekh lehen, thik hai na? Achha, dousra case kya ho sakta hai? For example, yehi wali situation leh lehte hai, am loog ke ji, aapke paas number of evening wale jo loog hai, वो हमारे पास 26 ही है और नंबर ऑफ सॉरी मॉर्निंग क्रूज वाले लोग 26 है और इवनिंग बारबेक्यू पे दे आर 29 लेकिन अब हम थोड़ा चक्कर खेलते हैं इसके साथ के हमारे पास यूनिवर्सल सेट है सपोज करें वो आपके पास कितना है 60 है अच्छा अब ये जो केस हमारे पास आ रहा है इसमें द सम ऑफ दीस टू इज लेस देन द यूनिवर्सल सेट ये डिफरेंट केस इसलिए है क्योंकि यहां पे देखें ये वाली डायग्राम हर केस में सेम होएगी लाइक like, अगर मैं ये वाली डायग्राम यहां पे ड्रा करूं जिस पे यू ट्राई टू कीप देम मैक्सिमम क्लोज टू ईच अदर तो यहां पे क्या होएगा दिस मॉर्निंग क्रूज वुड स्टिल बी द सबसेट ऑफ द इवनिंग बारबेक्यू ओके दिस इज 26 दिस इज 3 
और बाहर आपके पास ये 29 है बाहर आपके पास 31 आ जाएगा अब फर्क किस में आएगा फर्क इस डायग्राम में आएगा व्हेन यू ऐड दीस टू दिस इज 55 and the sum is 60. So this means when you try to draw them away from each other, so yes, in this case, we can draw them away from each other. The point is that when you find maximum or minimum number, find karna hota hai, to then what do you do? You find both sets ko bahut, jitna maximum dur kar sakte ho, wo karte ho, ya phir aap unko close kar, uh, jitna kar sakte ho. To, uh, close wali to diagram subset banega hamesha. Lekin yahan pe aapka kya hoega? When you draw this, so, बच्चों आपके पास क्या होएगा? I'll keep this morning and this evening वाला away from each other. This is 26, this is 29, and I'll keep five outside. Okay? Now the these two are the extreme diagrams for this given situation, and these two are the extreme diagrams for this given situation. Now. Whatever number you have to find, you will get them from these diagrams. For example, you have to find n of p intersect, sorry, n of e intersection m ki greatest value. So, you can see here, here is 5, here is 26. है. So, greatest value is 26. And if you have least value, so this is the least value of n of e intersection m. Suppose you have to find uh, n of e union m. Okay? Or unki extreme greatest least value find karni hai. So E union M, yaha pe you can see this is 29, and yaha pe you can see this is 50. Isi tarah se yaha pe bhi dekh le. Either E union M for this particular case, yaha pe pas 29 hai, or yaha pe ye 55 hai. The thing is ke once you have drawn the extreme diagrams, so from there you can find the extreme values. Ab jaate jaate dekhiye. For example, aapko chahiye tha n of E union M whole complement. So, here is 21 and here is 0. So, means 0 is the least value and 21 is the greatest value. If you come here, either you have 5 and either you have 31. Okay? So, 5 is the least value of this E union M whole complement and 31 is the greatest value. E intersection M is the least value. What is the least value there is nothing common in them, so that is zero, okay? Or यहाँ पे आपके 26 है। अच्छा, यहाँ पे मैं आपको कोई भी question का solution चाहिए, और please comment section में जाके आप कह सकते हैं, पूछ सकते हैं, आप मेरा number पूछ सकते हैं, आप WhatsApp कर सकते हैं, ठीक है ना? I can give you like आपको individual अगर आपको solution चाहिए तो भी दे सकते हैं। तो आप हमें जो है इसको subscribe करें ताकि फिर आपको पता लगता रहे कि हम लोग आगे कौन से topics cover कर रहे हैं। इस हम next video में shading in sets है उसकी बात करेंगे। Till then, Allah Hafiz.